It has certainly been a while now where most of us have been working from home. After almost two years battling through the COVID-19 pandemic, things have recently just come back to normal. Roads are getting busier, traffic on freeways are increasing, dine-in businesses are picking up, and even the office buildings are slowly returning back to normality. Some have gotten used to working from home. Some were anticipating to be coming back to the physical office. Regardless to both, have we ever thought about what the future holds for us in the future of work cultures? With the rapid progress and adaptation to technologies and virtual office concepts, would we be evolving to a future of working from home or rotational shifts as the new norm? My name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Today's episode on Design Seat, we will be revealing a boutique-sized construction company that turned their 1,251 square feet studio office to look from this into this. Stay till the end of this episode and learn the hacks and tips on how you should start designing your own office space and maximize the floor plan of a small office. If you'd like to learn more about design and architecture and you have enjoyed most of our previous episodes, do make sure you slam on that subscribe button and keep that notification buzzer on. You could also follow us on our Facebook and Instagram for more of our recent updates. A new modern office which allows for a variety of different work environments addressed to the prestigious Kuala Lumpur Bangsa Lokal, the Aspire Tower at KL EcoCity is the perfect avenue that offers places for conducive working, collaborations and socialisation. This award-winning development is also an MSC Malaysia Cyber Centre with flexible office spaces that ranges from 1,100 to 18,000 square feet. Conveniently adjacent to the LRT KTM Integrated Railway and walking distance to three major shopping malls Mid Valley, Mega Mall, The Gardens and KLEC Mall. Executive offices starting from 1,100 to 1,900 square feet are compact workspaces ideal for startups and give these small companies the leverage of a prime locale. This smaller size is also perfect for companies which are right-sizing in the wake of the pandemic while still being able to keep a prestigious address. The signature office runs from 3,600 to 16,300 square feet and are targeted at SMEs who require spacious, high-quality workspaces within a desirable location. The premium office takes up an entire level and will serve large corporations with style. Spanning across 18,000 square feet, these prime workspaces on the highest floors also provide privacy and security as only those who work here have access to the floor, a highly desirable trait in these safety-conscious times. This selected project is a 1,250 square feet bare space which fortunately came in a squarish floor plan. When you're given the option to choose within the floor plans, it is always preferable to have a squared layout rather than to have a rectangular on an odd-shaped floor plan. With a squarish floor plan, we had a wider usage of space, which would mean we would have a balanced amount of natural lighting penetrating into the space. Hence, we decided not to create any dividers or obstructions that could possibly reduce the visual impact of the space. Creating walls and dividers would only make your office space narrow and dark. Allowing the natural lighting to penetrate into the office would create a healthier vibe of the office culture. So without building walls, how do we divide spaces with privacy? Within a 1,000 square feet office, privacy certainly would face its limit. However, a healthy work culture today is believed to be working in an open concept office. Although our clients were running a conventional construction firm, they were open to accept the idea of working in an open office concept. We decided to divide the meeting room and the manager's office with glass. This could allow better soundproofing and yet still allow transparency to create a more spacious impression. When the meeting room is being utilised, the glass dividers could also act as a point of extension of a whiteboard. 
the two spaces closer to the window was intentionally painted in a refreshing tonality. This softens the harsh natural lighting that bounces off this area because they were closer to the window. Matching carpet closest to the wall paint creates an alluring depth to the office, creating a unique separation within the small office that breaks the monotony of repetitive colours. Carpets are also a very effective choice for improving the acoustic of an office. If you're planning to go with cement rendered flooring or leaning towards the industrial design office, you need to be able to tackle soundproofing as the sound and echoes are going to sound like this. The timber ceiling feature creates an enthusiastic vibe to the entire office, which lifts the energy level with its dynamic linear the moment you step into the office. The timber strips feature isn't just for aesthetic reasons. The track lighting, air conditioning vents, and also the water sprinklers is now neatly disguised within the ceiling feature. A balance of work and play is always emphasized in our designs. The frontage of the entrance is welcome with a cozy breakout point. Be it a casual workspace, a pantry area, a resting corner, or even a cozy waiting area. This homey setup balances the formality of the office space. If you notice, lightings are also very essential in complementing good design. The splashback lighting that showers against the walls of the carpentry creates an illusion of a wider perspective. It is as though there is an illusion of a deeper space beyond. When carpentry details are designed with a lot of shadows, it will affect the design feeling as though the space feels fairly cramped. Space optimization is a key point to a small office. Being able to maximize the seating capacity, yet not making the office feel like a call center or a classroom. Here is what you need to do. Do not purchase overly sized furniture. If you want to have large sofas, large work desks, large meeting tables, get a bigger office. Do not align them in an overly organized manner. As you can see here, we separated the two rows of seating areas to allow for open spaces to create a comfortable walkroom. Additional to that, here are some space saving and reorientation ideas which could allow for more flexibility of the spatial usage. The dividers of each cubicle can be easily moved if a larger worktop space is required. The personal drawers of each workstation has rollers. In the event an extra discussion table is needed, rearrangement could be executed. Lastly, always allow for extra room for expansion in the event a minimal growth to the team is needed. It is still ambiguous about the future of the work culture of tomorrow, but it is also undeniable that adapting to change and modernization is the way moving forward. Printed drawings being reduced, transitioning into digital form, improving productivity for presentation and even for the sketches of our clients for this case, it is exhilarating to imagine what else the future of the rapid growth of technology could benefit us in improving our future lifestyle. For now, adapting to change, learning the new, working within the right community, nestle among the top of the class. In recent times, it is a trend for most companies to restructure and reorientate their office sizes. The term is called right sizing. Getting the right size that fits your needs and enjoying the prestigious address at multiple conveniences around you, the Aspire Tower does fulfill all these requirements. Whether you are looking for small functional office, medium-sized flexible office, or the entire floor, Aspire Tower has it all in this prestigious Bangsa address. Do you still feel you have trouble moving into a small office? Watch this video a couple more times, you'll get a hang of it. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to explore some good deals and if you have questions about the Aspire Tower or the Samsung products that we highlighted here today, we would also be able to assist you from there. If you enjoyed the contents of our videos, do subscribe, 
share and click on that notification bell to stay in the loop of more of our exciting episodes. My name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Thank you for watching. It is now time to unwind. Who says overtime in the office is a bad thing?